this is just a short tutorial on how to zip and unzip just one file using zip in the Linux terminal. So what I have here is a file called file.pdf and uh, that file is 4.1 megabyte in size. Now I want to zip it because I want to compress it or make it smaller. That's one reason you'd want to zip. And uh, what I do now is uh, I use zip and then the name space of course and then the name of the file I want to create which could also be the same name file dot zip space and then the original file which is file dot pdf that's all there's to zipping a file now you see we had a file pdf and we also had the same file called file dot zip And as you can see, the original file is 4.1 megabyte and the compressed zip file is 3.3 megabyte. Uh, we can uh, remove the original file.pdf and we're left with just a file.zip in case that's just actually what we had to begin with in case we had downloaded it from the internet. And to unzip it, unzip file dot zip. And we get both files here. Now let's uh, remove the the file dot zip here for a second. And we are left with just a file now there's nothing that says it has to have the same name you could have plenty of files within one zip file and that zip file might want to have a name that is more common for all the files you're going to put in there sooner or later so we use zip and the name of the new file which we can call just basic here dot zip and then the original file again file dot pdf and now we have file dot pdf inside the basic dot zip here or it's zipped we can uh, remove the file dot pdf and then we can unzip the basic dot zip and we are back to our zip file and the file dot pdf the original file we had all along and as you can see like we have done before here ls tac sh uh, human readable size so you see the basic zip is still 3.3 compressed 4.1 megabyte on the original file and that's as short as i'm gonna do it um next time we'll just add on to more files files we want to exclude looking through a zip file without opening it and uh, moving files and stuff like that around in different directories after we open it and whatnot but this is the first one basic okay that's it for now